Oh, this is good news. That's right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? <laughs> are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up you already know like you like the content give it a thumbs up all right we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video and the first one could be great news for ps5 owners bro you remember all the news that PS5s are going to be out of stock? Well, not for PS5 owners if you're trying to get a PS5. That PS5 was going to be out of stock all of 2021 going into 2022. Well, fresh off the press, Sony CEO Jim Ryan, he says that PS5 production will be ramping up starting this summer. And so he was recently interviewed by Wired and he has gone on record to say we're working. This is his exact quote. We're working as hard as we can to ameliorate the situation. We see production ramping up over the summer and certainly into the second half of the year. <coughs> and we would hope to see some sort of return to normality in terms of balance between supply and demand during that period. Now they're saying starting in the second half of 2021, we should start seeing supply meet demand. Great news because this console is constantly out of stock this is coming fresh off the heels of i think it was target who just had a restock like a day or two ago and they sold out within seconds and so the demand is still at out outpacing the supply but jim ryan has just said to wired that they're going to be ramping up production over the summer i don't know what kind of deals they made behind the scenes with semiconductor parts or whatever but it looks like we're going to be getting more PS5s now. There are there were rumors that Sony was revising the PlayStation 5 without um, consumers even knowing. Meaning that's going to be the same. The outside of the console is going to look exactly the same. But there are going to be some minor differences on the inside to help with. Because some of those supplies are in short supply. So that could be what they're doing. So in the second half of um, 2021, you could be getting a different PS5 and not even know it because the outside is the same. Dudes are like, nah, they ain't going to do that that soon. Bro, they've already been doing that. If you open your current PS5, if everyone were to open their PS5s right now, some PS5s would have a different fan than other PS5s. They've already been rearranging the internals without consumers knowing it because the outside of the, all the consoles look the same. And so, great, great, great news. PS5s will be cranking up starting the summer, according to Jim Ryan. This is breaking news. Let's go get it. The next news item. <coughs> we have to talk about this one. The Returnal sale numbers, initial sale numbers are coming out. And this is an article coming from PushSquare.com. And I think the game is going to do just fine. Because you have to look at what's going on with these sales numbers. All right. Returnal has managed to finish second on the UK sales chart at launch. It debuted, but it debuted lower than other major PlayStation exclusive titles. They're comparing how Returnal debuted with other PlayStation exclusives. And it makes sense that it um, debuted lower. One... The install base of the PS5 is only at 
7.8 million, I think, globally. And so you still have an, a, a relatively low install base. And two, it's a brand new IP. And three, it's only counting physical sales, which is, of course, it's going to be low if you're only counting. And, and it's not even low. They say that they're comparing it to other PlayStation exclusives. It's only counting physical sales. Bro, everybody and their mama knows during the entire coronavirus, this whole pandemic, digital sales have exploded because people, more people don't want to go out to the stores and get in contact with people. They just buy the games digitally. And so I think the game is going to do just fine. Um, this, this, these early numbers only show physical sale numbers. PS5 install base is still low and, um, it's comparing it to, um, um, other PlayStation exclusives, many of which have a solid fan base from sequels, etc. But either way, right now this is still my game of the year even with the game crashing on me on the fourth boss i had to replay the third biome boss twice because it glitched out on me <coughs> even with the glitches which i'm hoping the and the developers have been updating it with patches the gameplay is just so crazy bro it is so good i would recommend this game to anyone to anyone to anyone and so the first sale numbers came out and Returnal debuted in second behind Pokemon Snap. And we all know, first of all, the Switch has nearly an 80 million <laughs> install base. And it's Pokemon, bro. So, of course, Returnal wasn't going to... The whole wide world knew Returnal wasn't going to outsell no Pokemon game. But I would recommend this game. If you're on the fence of getting this game, get it. It's a tough game. It's hard. But if you stick with it, it gets easy, man. The game gets easy. Right now, I think the game is easy. It's an easy game. But you just got to stick with it. That initial learning curve, you stick with it, you'll enjoy it. All right. Bro, this next news item. Pretty big. Former Xbox exclusive, the Falconer, has just been listed for the PlayStation 5. I kid you not. This was one of the Xbox's few <laughs> launch exclusives. It's now coming to the PlayStation 5. And this is what the internet has been all up in arms of Starfield because a leaker is saying that the game, he's heard that the game will be a Xbox exclusive. That's what he's saying. This is what I know is going to happen. You could timestamp this video, bookmark this video, come back and be like, Obi-Wan, you was right. I, I'm always right with this stuff. Xbox is not going to announce it's coming to the PlayStation 5. They're not. They're going to just say it's coming to... It's, they might do your, we'll use words like launch, exclusive, or... They might just flat out say exclusive to Xbox, and the game comes out on the Xbox. Three months later, it's going to be announced with PS5. Watch, they just want to gobble up themselves, get the console. But at the end of the day, Microsoft wants to make money. And they know that the PS5 launch ba launch um, um, install base is going to be larger than their consoles. And there's a lot of potential dollars off the market. This is what's going to happen with that Bethesda deal. And mark my words, I know this is what's going to happen. And I'm, I'm saying this based off of what an Xbox CEO has already said. First on Xbox or better on Xbox will be what they're going to be using with the Beth Bethesda exclusive. Meaning it'll either um, um, launch like a month or so first on Xbox or better as far as it'll have exclusive DLC or exclusive skins on the Xbox but the games will still come to the PS5. Watch, I'm, t I'm just telling you that's what's gonna happen. Personally, they are the only Bethesda game that slightly interests me is Doom. It's Doom and Bethesda, I've never been a Bethesda fan, so even if they don't come to the PS5, <laughs> I'm good, bro. All right, one more big news. No, 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 we got two more. First, it looks like the next 
a Middle Earth game. Middle Earth 3 is rumored to be announced at E3 this year. I Did I beat the second one? I know I definitely beat the first one. Yeah, I think I beat the first two. Both games were dope. Um, can't wait to see what the third one looks like. But it's rumored to be revealed at E3. And the last news item for this video... PlayStation 5 has officially launched in China. China's population is 17.9 gajillion people. <laughs> China has <coughs> a whole lot of people. So this is going to greatly um, broaden the market for the PS5. Um, the Xbox, I think, is launching in a couple days in China too. So interesting to see how X because Xbox does not do good in asia in the asian market interesting to see how xbox if xbox um flops in china sony's definitely going to run away with it this generation because that's a whole new asian market this is uncharted waters interesting to see how those ps5 sales do in china that was my trump impression china all right what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below I want to know. Uh, but before you go, bro. Oh, my son wants to come in. I'm going to let him come in. Come on. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks, Gaby. Bro. Peace. I'm going to be on Returnal on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship. We out. Peace. Peace. And my man, check out mine.